Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today's video is the top eight over-the-counter medications. So let's get right to it. And what I'm gonna be doing as well is doing some kid counterparts um, to these medications as well. So it's adults and kids. And remember that there are infant-specific medications and kid-specific medications. And then there's some medications that you can do either or. Uh, always read labels and, um, you know, just be 100% on all that stuff. And if you notice these straps here, it's because I'm holding uh, Baby Rogue here. <laughs> uh, she just wants to be held these past few days, so that's what I'm doing. All right, in no particular order, the very first one is gonna be Tums. Some people like Pepto. Honestly, I really like uh, Tums. I know it's specifically like an antacid, but it does work for like sour stomachs and stuff like that, and that's what Pepto is for as well. Now we do have Pepto for kids, and um, I've actually only given this ever once to our child because she had a, kind of an upset stomach. But this is about the same thing. It's acid, um, you know, for acid indigestion, acid indigestion, heartburn, heartburn, sour stomach, sour stomach. I personally like Tums better, but you can do whatever you want. Get Pepto, get Tums. We have Pepto for kids, Tums for adults. All right, the next one is going to be some sort of Benadryl um, allergy relief. You know, this is the off-brand. It's going to be cheaper than Benadryl, right? Be aware that, you know, with any antihistamine, um, you know, whether it'll make you drowsy or not. Like, um, actual Sudafed will make me drowsy. And, you know, so I always have to look for the ones that say, like, non-drowsy, stuff like that. But any sort of allergy medication is going to come in handy. This is children's allergy relief. It's a liquid, um, but this is... This is the off-brand, but it's technically Zyrtec. And then um, in addition to this stuff, I would highly recommend a topical cream. This is great for pets, people, you know, <laughs> kids, whatever, you know, not just uh, pets, but, um, you know, any sort of antihistamine uh, cream will be good as well. All right, the next one's gonna be pain relievers. Ibuprofen, though ibuprofen is an anti-inflammatory. Um, acetaminophen, Tylenol, technically, is not an anti-inflammatory, but it is a pain reliever. Now, these both uh, go through different processes in the system. Um, I usually take a set of acetaminophen for most things. If I do need some sort of anti-inflammatory, I'll take an ibuprofen. Um, and we also have acetaminophen for children. Of course, again, this is liquid, but it's acetamin for children. All right, the next one is going to be an anti-diarrhea. And um, something that's kind of on the same line for kids would be gripe water or uh, these gas relief drops, uh, something along those lines uh, that could have some sort of anti-diarrhea, you know, relieving gas sort of thing. All right, the next one is gonna be vitamins. I know a lot of people don't like believe in vitamins, but I do. I believe in vitamins. Right now I'm taking prenatals. Um, normally, you know, when I'm not uh, breastfeeding or when I'm you know, not pregnant, um, I would just take a normal everyday multivitamin. And then I have like a whole bunch of other vitamins that I would take in addition to the multivitamin. Like I would take magnesium, uh, turmeric, uh, stuff like that. So um, I would take other stuff along with that but I'm taking just a regular prenatal right now, but any multivitamin. Also, they make Survivagarb, which this is a prepper's multivitamin, uh, basically. It has an extended shelf life, and um, it comes with like a lot more um, vitamins in it than like a normal daily vitamin would. I really like Survivagarb. We had this in our uh, preps and in our uh, everywhere, so. All right, the next one is gonna be electrolytes. Um, I think electrolytes are super important, especially in the summertime, but you can still get dehydrated at any time of the year, okay? Uh, so electrolytes are, are pretty important. This one in particular is a keto uh, electrolyte, but there are lots of different kinds of electrolytes um, out there in uh, capsule form, in chewables, in powders, liquids, uh, any sort of um, electrolyte is gonna be uh, top notch for you. Next one is gonna be activated charcoal. So what are the benefits of activated charcoal? So uh, activated charcoal is generally, you would take it for um, some sort of de detoxification. So like if um, you needed to throw up or if you had taken something uh, bad, you know, um, it can also ease the occasional gas and bloating, supports bowel regularity, maintains a calm GI tract. 
So these ones in, in particular are in capsule form, which means that I can actually take this capsule apart and use the activated charcoal inside for whatever else I want. I don't have to ingest it, So, but it's activated charcoal. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Put your over-the-counter medication suggestions down below in the comments for children or adults or infants or even pets. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.